Um, some good, some bad. I think at times a little bit sloppy, but got the two points. It's all that matters. I was going to say, after such an intense game on Monday, is this one of those that you kind of just have to grind it out to get the win? Yeah, it was a grind. I think, like I said, there was times that we were playing really well and playing the right way, and then there was times that we kind of got away from our game and, and gave them a few chances, and that's when they were able to score. So um, just need to clean up those areas. How important has it been for you guys to be able to come out of this break and get results in your first two back? Yeah, this is the the final push here, the last 30 games, so every point's going to matter. What's the feeling now as far as just, you know, you talk about inconsistencies or whatever it was in, within the game, but you're still winning. Like, it feels like the wins just keep stacking recently. So what, what's that feeling like for you guys? Yeah, we got to keep the wins coming, so it's a good thing that we're in the win column the last few games. How do you feel like uh, your chemistry with your linemates is coming along? Great. I like playing with these guys. Uh, been grinding a little bit the last few games, but... Um, as long as we keep getting the chances, we're, we're happy with the way we're playing. The speed that you and Chris got on that goal, just how nice is that to have somebody that compliments you like that? Yeah, he was, I mean, I, I didn't even know he was with me. I thought I was just a one-on-one -on -one for the uh, majority of that rush. And then last second, I see him beat, beat his guy to the back post. And um, I kind of pulled myself a little bit there, thought I was going to shoot, and then saw him wide open. So it's nice to have him streaking down the wing at all times, kind of opens up some space. You said you didn't see him till the end, though, but that chemistry there between you two was remarkable. I mean, is that just a product of you guys just practicing together, getting that familiarity and that comfort with one another? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, he's a really good player, and um, I think he's, he's just out there trying to play play our game, our style of hockey, and um, his speed is something that I kind of gives me some space with the puck through the neutral zone. Whenever he's blowing, blowing past defensemen, it, it has to back them off. They have to respect his speed. It opens up uh, the ice in front of me. So um, as long as he, he continues to do that, create space, we're going to get chances. I think it, if they decide not to, tr to stay with him, then he's going to have breakaways nightly. So um, we just got to keep playing the way we're playing. Three-point night, is that, is that I so. true? I guess so. How does that feel? Like the same. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, it's good. I think uh, uh, Puck found me tonight. Um, guys made some great plays off of uh, off a breakout pass and uh, maybe a first pass. So um, credit to them. And uh, yeah. Three assists, though. Was it nice to be able to contribute that way? Uh, yeah, totally. I think anyway. You can kind of uh, contribute to a, to your team is is going to be uh, helpful in the long run. Um, obviously, like I said, uh, the teammates did a great job of um, just capitalizing on those opportunities and uh, making the most out of them. What was the message or the mindset heading into the third period to try to close this one out with the team that was hanging around? Yeah, I think that was uh, the biggest thing is uh, don't let them hang around for too long. Um, they're a good team, and I think uh, we saw it right there uh, the last uh, – or right after our fourth goal or whatever, within seconds, they were right back within a one-goal game. So I think uh, just keeping our pedal, uh, pedal to the metal and um, just playing a full 60 minutes. DeAndre, how would you describe the feeling right now? It feels like whether you're winning pretty, you're winning ugly, like you guys just the last 20, 25 games seem to keep finding ways to do it. So, so what's kind of the feeling with the guys right now? Yeah, um, I think uh, it's been good. I mean, I think uh, we, uh, we have a certain type of belief and... Um, a uh, certain type of will um, coming into these games and um, knowing that we can win and uh, finding those wins. What's it like for you to watch Phil having the hot streak that he's having? It seems like everything he's touching is kind of turning into gold right now. Yeah, um, Phil's been unreal for us this, uh, this stretch here, and um, it's fun to see him uh, smiling and being happy around the rink and uh, gives him that extra boost of confidence, um, which is honestly kind of scary if uh, – you're that opposing goalie. So um, I think he's doing great and doing great things for our team. Feels like they're coming in all different fashions <laughs> recently, right? I mean. Yeah, definitely. That wasn't uh, wasn't quite like the other night. But uh, you know, two points, and we played well enough to win the two points. But that was uh, that was about it. It was a tough game. We we keep asking you this, but just the, the wins. I think it's 18, four and three in the last 25. I mean, that's that's yeah. I'm sure a record you're very happy with. I mean, yeah. The last 25 games, what are you seeing that's just resulting in all these wins? Well, we're finding ways to win, just like we did last year earlier in the season. And, uh, you know, like I said, nothing's perfect with our group, and there's no perfect teams in the league right now. But uh, you find a way to win the game. And tonight was, uh, like I said, it was a seesaw battle. I mean, it wasn't either team dominated. We had some good chances early, and on the power play hit a post and had a couple of posts. But it's just uh, there's nothing that went real 
there was nothing easy tonight, put it that way. Seemed like the first two goals from them, maybe turnovers that kind of led to that. Is that yeah, right? we played, I thought we played great hockey. It was 2 nothing. we were playing real good hockey, and then all of a sudden we changed our game a little bit and started turning pucks over the neutral zone, which, you know, going cross ice and stuff like that, and then the offensive zone, instead of resetting pucks when there was no play, we tried the high risk play in the slot, and, you know, the three shifts prior to the goal, that's what led up to the goal, and that's, you know, it's a little frustrating, but that's what happens. You get up and you think it's going to be easy, and then all of a sudden it's a hockey game. At the same time, you, you, you are resilient. I mean, you, you get that goal from Mika there yeah. when it's 3 2. And, and then what happened on that play? On the, right off the faceoff, they, they get the. I don't know how that went in yet. I just, it was sort of a. I, I was looking up for an icing, and the next thing I know, their guy raced to it and somehow cut in the short side, so no idea. The kid line, we've asked about them a bunch of times recently, but they just keep coming through for you. You feel like they're rolling it's almost at the same point kind of where they were in the playoffs last yeah, year. Yeah, they were good again. I mean, scored a couple of big goals tonight, obviously. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody was great defensively tonight, but I thought uh, the kid line created some good chances for us for sure.